and welcome to the Gaia update for the Scorpio full moon that's happening on Wednesday, May 10th at 6.33 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. I'm Adrienne Elise. Well, we have another powerful full moon here going on, and I feel like I'm saying that for every moon these days because the intensity is continuing to continue. The Scorpio full moon is hearkening back to these last few years of shadow work that we've been doing. And um, so we are at this gateway place, an opportunity to leave behind the old stories, the things that aren't the truth of who we are, just what we bought into. This is societal conditioning. This is family belief systems. This is ancestral belief systems and past life experiences and karma. And we are having an opportunity to just step through to a whole new age. There's a ton of new energy coming in right now. And we are have been going deep into the past to find the places where we're wounded and find a way to stand up for ourselves and for what really matters to us in the truth of our heart, our soul, spirit, not what we've been taught, what we've been told or what's expected of us. And so with Venus moving back into Aries, and that happened on April 28th. And so Venus has would turn direct at the middle of April and moved back into Aries. And so now we're coming back into this warrior energy, the warrior goddess who's like, the the cat does not have her tongue. We'll just say that, you know, she wants to, and she's going to speak her truth. Um, so be ready for those words to come. And we have enlightening words, communications, and things going on. A powerful energy with this mercury still uh, it's just turned direct and now it's hanging out with Uranus never really left Uranus but now it's the third time coming exact with Uranus it's been lingering normally Mercury would pass over Uranus in one to two days but we've had like many many days in a row of this mercury conjunct uranus and uranus is the awakener uranus is unexpected change and shocking revolutionary um, information now with mercury there the messenger it's about information but this is a great time to open up to the messages that the universe step into this gateway of the Scorpio full moon and open up to the messages of the universe that are there for you about your next chapter. So join me for the live activation and you can find out more information about that below. And um, you can go ahead and sign up with your email to get into the live activation and also have instant access to the replay. And so we'll get into this activation around this energy separating ourselves from what it is that has been dictating our reality but that's not really true to us soul spirit and finding this way to access that truth our individual soul spirit gifts by leaving behind these stories of the past and our ancestors and stepping into this new chapter and so the rebirth is upon us with all this Aries energy with Venus now back in Aries and Mercury is still in Aries and of course we have Uranus and Mercury and Uranus together now these are highlighted and augmented and made even more powerful by a harmonious trine with Saturn so Uranus and Saturn have been trying in and out throughout this 2017 it's part of the magic of 2017 Saturn wants to make it real and Uranus is the awakener and so it's like it's really time for us to start seeing the changes the awakening we've all been hearing about since 2012 where is it Saturn says show me the money Saturn wants the truth there on the galactic center the truth of our human destiny wants to come forward and that is trining up harmoniously with Mercury the messenger hanging out with Uranus the awakener and so the if in our personal life this means pay attention to the information coming in right now there is magic afoot and I think on a global scale we may have some insight into what's been going on behind the scenes as this energy moves forward 
And so uh, one of the powerful things that's also happening around this full moon is that the sun is in Taurus and um, and it is making a beautiful trine, another harmonious energy with Pluto, Pluto the destroyer, because when we're talking again, remember about Mercury and Uranus making these this revolutionary um, energy, that's also triggering the square with Pluto and the opposition with Jupiter. It's this T-square of two 2017, we are having a massive inflammation, so to speak, of this energy, but there's also these harmonious aspects that want to help us along. And so the sun identity, it's getting personal as it comes into a trine with Pluto and saying, hey, this is the truth of who I am. I'm going to adjust my life to this. That means I'm going to cut some stuff out that doesn't serve me anymore. I can understand now. In after this deep soul searching period of the last three months of this retrograde energy, I understand more about what I really want and what really matters, or at least what it feels like. And so it's cool because it's like we're bringing this global massive shift for collective on all of humanity, but um, we're bringing it into our personal life now. And that means that we are shifting. The energy coming in is so powerful and it feels intense, but it's all about getting us on our true path aligning with that true sense of our soul spirit that true self that is divine and wants to come has come for one reason only to planet earth and that is to bring the light and enlightenment and the expression of this beautiful energy that we now understand we are a part of and it's a part of us and so um, there is just this massive awakening happening available for us in our everyday life bringing it down Saturn wants to bring it down to earth and make it real Sagittarius the seeker there on the galactic center it's like our cosmic reality of the truth and the bigger bigger truths those are really going to start dictating our reality instead of this everyday mundane existence we have some bigger things going on and it's t that shit is landing in our life right now so things are weird things are compressed things are we're going through karma really fast and things are accelerating for a lot of people and so but if you can take advantage of what the stars the messages the energies are giving us right now you can take a huge step on that path and once you're on that path a lot of the bullshit in your life just falls away because you don't have time for it and you're ready to actualize to demonstrate to be the living example of what what it means what it could mean our potential as humans as spiritual beings in this human experience and understanding that bigger picture of the magic that we're here to create so I hope that you can join me for this live activation and we will get into the energy of the Scorpio full moon move into this death and rebirth cycle and take a moment to get on that most appropriate timeline give yourself a minute to open up to the messages that want to come through and be present with the powerful energies of activation and acceleration and the support that's available to just cut away big chunks of karma that's what I'm seeing in people right now in the readings and the healings that I'm working on there's just these huge opportunities cut away big chunks of stuff that have been holding you down and, and a ball and chain for perhaps many lifetimes so I hope you can join me for that live activation and hey do you want to bring the juicy goddess energy into your life because I have these downloadable classes goddess activation there's eight of them and you can go at your own pace whenever you're ready they're twenty dollars a piece and download and each one works with an archetype of the goddess and chakra activation according to that goddess so super awesome and fun bringing in that juicy creative energy that we want to bring into this world now that this month so intense I forgot to talk about it but the North Node moving into Leo so this new chapter of expressing these gifts that are inside of us why we came to the planet and that's moving us in to this next age and so that's for about a year a year and a half so get your game on 
take advantage of this Leo energy to express the truth of who you are and get on page with your most amazing life. And so, and that note that I've developed this class called the Leadership and Abundance Training. And so I hope you'll consider taking advantage of this class. It's an eight week class series and you can find out more. The live class starts on May 22nd, Tuesdays, 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. And you can also, the replay will be available if you can't make the live class. So find out more about that at adrianelise.com slash leadership dash and dash abundance. Thanks so much for joining me. Enjoy this powerful energy right now. Just try to stay grounded and understand this is all about Mama Kitty coming along and picking up you as Baby Kitty and taking you to your most more appropriate life. So let it happen. Surrender. Listen to the messages. And I hope that you have a wonderful Scorpio full moon. Until next time, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.